Hello and welcome to Overdrive. I'm Onirjit and I am back with more facts and insights on automobiles. On our last video, we spoke about the different types of ICE engines used in automobiles. So this time we thought of getting on with a word we hear often in the auto world, turbo. The term turbo primarily means turbocharger or turbocharged. The commercial usage of turbochargers in passenger cars got popularized from as early as the 1980s and it has been unstoppable since. To understand turbochargers, we need to assess how an engine works. Well, the engine generally works in four steps or strokes. Intake, compression, combustion and exhaust. A turbocharger consists of two elements. A turbine, which is the hot side, and a compressor, which is the cold side, and these are connected by a shaft. After the exhaust stroke, highly pressurized exhaust gases flow out of the combustion chamber into the turbine of the turbocharger and rotates it, which in turn rotates the compressor, which draws in the fresh air, compresses it, and sends it to the intake, delivering pressurized compressed air to the combustion chamber. This results in better fuel burning and enhances the performance and the efficiency of the engine many folds. Turbochargers fall in the wider category of forced induction methods which entail the usage of superchargers and turbochargers and the different equations they can be put together in. Under forced induction, there are six different types of turbochargers used in varied forms of diesel and petrol engines. First, we have the single turbo which essentially means the usage of a single turbocharger on the engine. Essentially, smaller commuter vehicles with turbo engines use single turbo. The likes of the Hyundai Creta, Tata Nexon and many other cars all have single turbos under their hood. As these are compact yet cost effective and produce significantly more power when compared to the bigger engines in the naturally aspirated versions of the same cars. The Twin Turbo the twin turbo or the bi turbo engines have two turbochargers attached to the ICE engine, which produces more power as compared to a single turbo and also acts upon the turbo lag which occurs in the single turbo engines. Mostly used in larger and higher end vehicles, the twin turbo setup also makes it expensive and hence the limited usage. Although the popular example of the usage of bi turbo will be in the AMG range of the Mercedes-Benz with its 4-liter V8 bi-turbo engines. The third is the twin-scroll turbo. In a twin-scroll turbo, the path where the exhaust gases enter from is divided into two separate paths to help to fire alternate cylinders at a time, allowing exhaust gases to release in a synchronized alternative sequence. As a result, irregular exhaust gas pulses are eliminated and there's more power and efficiency and reduced turbo lag. The BMW 330i M Sport and the famous Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution has this type of turbochargers under the hood. VGT or Variable Geometry Turbocharging these are primarily applied in diesel engines and are told to be the most innovative form of turbocharging in the auto world. It uses aerodynamically shaped vanes in the turbocharger which alter the area to radius ratio to match the RPM. At low RPMs, a low AR ratio is used to increase the speed of the exhaust gases to quickly start the turbocharger and as the revs climb, the AR ratio increases to allow for increased airflow. The result is low turbo lag, a low boost threshold and a wide and smooth torque band. Many cars in the Indian market of the likes of the Toyota Fortuner the, and a large band of Maruti Suzuki diesel cars ranging from the Brezza to the Sias to the S-Cross have used VGT engines. Variable Twin Scroll Turbos these are essentially the fusion of the technologies used in the VGTs and the twin scroll turbo. Theoretically, this technology eliminates turbo lag better than the rest of the turbo setups, allowing a wider peak power threshold. However, cost and complexity are two significant downsides, hence not a very widely used technology for turbocharging in cars. Quad turbo. Quad turbo is essentially four times the turbo as the name suggests, 
and being such an expensive setup, it is generally up for the luxury vehicles or hypercars for that matter. The W16 Bugatti engine holds a quad turbo and we know the results of it being one of the fastest cars in the planet. Interestingly, the BMW 750D X-Drive holds the quad turbo under its hood for that 0 to 104.7 seconds without breaking a sweat or causing discomfort to the VIP passengers in the luxury sedan. Although, this feature is only available in the international models. Last but not the least, the electric turbo came to us as a game changer where the turbo is mated to an electric compressor which provides instant boost to the engines eliminating lag. However, this technology is complex and only limited to a number of brands who have used it in their vehicles internationally. The Audi SQ7 was the first production car to sport this technology while the Volvo S90, V90 and XC90 to pack this technology in international markets. This was turbocharger. Now let's talk about the supercharger. The supercharger is a form of forced induction that is mechanically powered by a belt connected to the engine as opposed to a turbocharger which is powered by the kinetic energy of the exhaust gases. It essentially has the same function as the turbocharger although is more expensive and consumes more fuel as compared to a turbocharger. Supercharger usage in cars have always been noted as exceptional with the likes of the Audi S5, the Jaguar F-Type, the Range Rover Sport SVR etc. are supercharged cars we have seen in Indian roads. Superchargers are also used in aircraft engines as they function well in higher altitudes giving the aircraft engines the boost required to run at such astonishing speeds. So that's all about forced induction in car engines and what the term turbo actually stands for apart from being a sports statement in cars. I'll be back again next week with some more interesting facts and insights on automobiles. Now hit the like button on this video and subscribe to the Overdrive YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram. I'll see you next time.